Hi guys, today we're going to be learning how to use Floor Planner it, um, to lay out our tiny house blueprints. So I'm going to create a new project and we'll call this example one, or just example. Uh, I'm not going to fill out any of the address things because this is just our own design of a house. So it'll ask you how you want to start. We're going to start with an empty plan. And depending on what the uh, outer shape of your house is, if your outer house is just um, a rectangle or a square, probably the easiest way to start out is to hit draw room, which will enable you to click and drag um, a room of your size. And if you, <clears throat> if you drag a room uh, and make it larger or smaller than you want, you can always adjust that by clicking on a wall and holding it down and then just moving it wherever you'd like it. If your house is a bit more complicated than just a box, you can hit room again and, you know, add whatever you need to it. If you don't like this wall here, you can delete that. Uh, so then, to add the inside walls of our house, we're going to go to Draw Wall. And let's say I want a wall from here to here. Oops, and as you can see, I did not extend it the whole way, so I'm going to drag it over. There we go. And maybe I also want a wall from here to here. <clears throat> so, as you can probably see in here, you can adjust the thickness of your wall, the wall height, which you can't really see um, from uh, overhead view, and you can also raise it from the floor. So, if you'd like to label what your rooms are, you can go into Draw Surface, and then It'll allow you to make a shape for your room. Oops. And then double click to finish it. And you can always adjust as needed. So, and then you can name this room by going into so I clicked it, I went into room type, go to house, and we'll say this is our kitchen. And maybe I want my kitchen to be a bit smaller, so I'll adjust that. Then our next room is living room. Click and drag to all the corners. Double click to end. Fix that up. So I'm just gonna finish these up real quick. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do after we have all of our rooms is add our doors. So, let's say I decide that I actually want this room to be a bit smaller, I think. And then we can also drag our surface to make that a bit smaller. So we can place our doors wherever we'd like them. As you can see, under doors, there's lots of different options for doors. And once you click on that door and drag it to where you want it, you can reverse it. You can't really see it with this one, but you can uh, reflect it, reverse it. You can duplicate it if you want, or you can delete it. And you can also change how large it is and things like that. And you can do that over here as well. And you can also 
change the color of the door, which you can't really see here, but we'll be able to see in 3D mode. So I'll change my door frame to blue and I'll make, I don't know, we'll make the door color a darker blue. So I'm gonna put in all the doors for my, for my house. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with windows. So let's say I just want the same window everywhere. I can duplicate that. Oops. Sometimes it's hard to click on the right thing. And as you can see, it tells you uh, the measurements of where you're placing things. So I'm not looking super carefully at those. But if you guys want your windows to be nicely aligned, you can do that. Now, if you also um, put something like a fireplace in your house or you want to mark a stairwell, you can do that here also. I'm not going to do that for my house. I'm just going to leave it as it is as a one floor house. If you had a two floor house, what you would do is you would have this and then over here, you could just draw this second floor and draw it separately as a second a separate uh, building kind of next to it. But for this, we're just going to do a one floor house. So the next thing I'm going to do is add in furniture. So this whole time we've been in build. Now I'm going to go down to this little chair uh, to furniture. And we can choose different furniture categories. Let's say I want to do the bedroom first. So bedroom, and then we can see everything that comes with the bedroom. I just want to look at beds. So I'm going to click on beds and then you can even go more specific into that, or you can use the search bar to find something, but I like this bed. So I'm just going to go with that bed. So there's our bed. Um, let's just do one piece of furniture per room. So living room furniture, Let's look at sofas. We can put that as our living room sofa. Um, let's say I want to rotate it. We can click on it and rotate it how we like it. We can reflect it. Not sure what this one does. Oh, it adjusts where we had it um, raised from the floor. So we'll, we'll be able to see that once we go into live mode, but <clears throat> for now, we'll just leave that alone. Um, so I want my sofa to be here, let's say. And then we can go into kitchen. Go into built-in kitchen. Actually, I think I'm going to go into kitchen, go into basic units, and we can put whatever kitchen cabinets we like in. I don't know. Here, let's go with this one. We'll delete this one and put this one in here. And then since I didn't have a set dining room, we can also put a dining room table and set in also. I think I like this one, so that. And then uh, for the bathroom, let's go with a shower. Wow, and I can see that I made my bathroom pretty large, so I'm gonna actually <clears throat> shrink that just for the purpose of this uh, example, but it you should have um, kind of your layout figure it out better than I do for uh, your house. So let's put my bathroom fixture here. Yeah. So the next thing we're going to do is paint the walls. Go down to the rolling pin, or not the rolling pin, the paint roller. That's what it's called. Um, 
and I really like blue, let's say. So the nice thing about this is when you touch a color, it will give you some other complementary colors also. So if you want like a yellow, it'll give you some, some nice colors to go with it. Um, all right, let's go back to blue. I like blue. So Royal Regatta, ooh, oops. I accidentally made the floor that color. So to change your wall color, you drag it, the color you want over, hover it over the wall that you want to paint, and then whichever side of that wall you want to paint, you put that in the white circle, and that is the color you've chosen. So let's, I'm gonna do that for all the walls inside my bedroom. And then maybe for this other wall, I want a complementary color, and they gave me a complementary color, so I'll put that wall as a darker blue. But yeah, I'll just do this for all my walls. I think I got all of my walls colored. Now we can do the flooring and that the textured uh, things that aren't just regular paint colors are under this little kind of brick pattern. And I really like this floor, so let's use that. And the reason why we made these little outline areas for our living room, dining room, not just um, in addition to just labeling these places as separate uh, spaces in the house, you also divide your floor colors by those uh, locations. So if we wanted to, hypothetically, I could make my living room a different flooring than my kitchen and things like that. So that's why I uh, laid it out like that. But I'm just going to use the same flooring. Maybe I'll use... Instead of wood, I'll use tile in the bathroom. Oh, some of these tiles are pretty ugly, but we'll say I like this one. And the nice thing about all of these uh, textures is you can also use them as your wall for your walls. So they have wallpapers also. So let's make this wall in here. Oof, it's kind of hard to. Let's make these this uh, leaf wallpaper. Okay, so now to see if we like all those changes we just made, we can go into 3D, which is this button over here. And we can see what we did. Now, right now I'm in um, this mode, but we can go into a walking mode, which is a bit more helpful to look around at our space. And I'm just using the arrow keys on my keyboard to walk around and look at all the things that I've done. Let's say I didn't like how this couch looked. I could click on this couch in this setting. Wow, I'm learning something new here. If I click on this couch, I can drag it up and adjust it wherever I like, or I can move it around also by clicking on this couch. I did not even know you could do that. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. So that way you don't have to toggle back and forth between 2D and 3D. This seems like kind of um, a useless thing, but let's say I put I don't know, let's find a uh, decoration, accessories, let's go into accessories, and then put a mirror on the bathroom wall, and then go back into 3D. By the way, if you don't like that it starts at this uh, view every single time, and you don't like that you have to toggle back and forth, you can actually set uh, your beginning camera mode to wherever you want it by hitting update camera and then the next time you go go into 3d it'll be where you had it last so as you can see i put this um mirror here if i don't like where this mirror is and i want it to be hanging from the wall i can adjust it up that way which is really helpful or i can rotate it 
super fun. I didn't know you could do that. So that's exciting. <laughs> Uh, and that is our house. So now that I am happy with how my house looks, uh, normally I would put more furniture in it than this, obviously, but since this is just our example, this is what we'll go with. We can take a picture of it. There are two ways to take a picture of these houses. The first way is a little bit frustrating you can use this button up here, export 2D image. Hit that. Um, decide how you want it saved. I'm gonna go with JPEG, current design, top view, that looks good. And then hit export. The problem with this is if you're taking multiple photos of your house, since we all have the free account, we can only take one picture every 10 minutes. So the easier way to do this is to screenshot um, your design if you want. So I'm gonna close this button so it's my full screen. And on a Windows computer, you screenshot by hitting, holding down Windows Shift S. And it'll bring up this and you can, oh, well now this is in the way, but. You can drag it and screenshot your things. And then you can just save this wherever you want in your files and turn that in. Or you can go to see your exports because we just exported this image and it'll come up in here and then you can download it and again, save it in your folder to turn in. So hopefully that was helpful uh, figuring out how to use Floor Planner. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Uh, I encourage you guys to just play around with it. Um, it's pretty fun. I had a lot of fun with it for my other project. Here are some of the pictures I took with uh, for my house design last year. So yeah, bye guys.